Hello everybody and welcome to part 9 in this little tutorial series. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at uh, built-in libraries in Lua such as the string library, the maths library, um, the table library and there's many other. Um, now I'm not going to go in depth with every single one of them. There will be a link in the description to all of the information you will need on all of them. Uh, but I'm just going to basically show you how to use them and set them up uh, as I said. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up um, Sublime. And what we'll do in here is we'll go ahead, we'll remove our code from last time. So now what the library does is it basically adds pre-built functions that do specific tasks. Now, an example of this is uh, we could make a test variable and set it equal to uh, math.floor, okay? Um, and then we can put in the number 10 point blah, 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 blah. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to round down to the nearest whole number, which is going to be 10. Um, so that's what math.floor will do. We can go ahead and we can print our test just like that. And then when we run our program here, as you can see, 10 is the result. Now, you can do all sorts, you know, there's maths.seal, which will do the opposite or round it up to the nearest whole number. Um, and you got all sorts like that. There's, there's all sorts of functions that are nice to use. But now, what, what you may also uh, want to use is the string library. Now, the string library is pretty useful. Um, an example of it could be string.explode. Uh, I believe that's part of only Gary's mod. Um, but yeah, there, there, there's a lot of pre-built in string functions. Um, some of them are like uh, string dot byte. Now inside here, I could put the letter H. And if anybody of you don't know what byte does, is it returns the ASCII value of that character. So H has the ASCII value of 72. Now we will be using this very soon um, in a little project that we're going to be doing. Um, so yeah, I hope you know this and, and vice versa, we could do string dot char, um, and we could give it that 72 and it was going to convert that ASCII number into an ASCII character, which is going to be H. So yeah, that, that's that. And the table library has all sorts of things like, um, table dot sort, uh, I believe that's one. Yep. Table dot reverse. That may be just a Gary's mod one. Yep. I do apologize. Um, but as long as you know how to use them now. I know this was a really short video, um, but if you check the description, there will be a link to all of the pre-built libraries of Lua um, and how you can do them. So if you're not too sure on how to do a particular thing with numbers or a particular thing with a table or a string, then chances are if you go ahead and click on these links, it will give you all of the information you need. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave a comment below and I will get back to you. I'll see you in the next video.